Before I start, I just want to make this clear that no one has put me up to this. No one has asked me to do this. This is just something I've wanted to do since I have things to say about Zay's livestream on this topic. I should also point out that even though I don't like Zay, I don't really think his content is completely shit. I do have problems with Zay, like how he can be annoying, unhinged, and quite frankly, stupid at times, especially during his live streams. I will say there are some videos of his that are well written and well thought out. However, recently Zay has had quite an obsession by making multiple videos and live streams about Lyle Convoy and Hopeless Peaches. Zay will deny it being an obsession, but from the amount of videos and live streams he's done on them with having absolutely no connections to each other, yeah, I think it's an obsession. I don't know why he has a problem with them. All that I can gather is that Zay has this weird issue with Hopeless Peaches. Lyle made a video defending her, accusing Zay of enabling predators. Zay responded to it, and I guess he decided to make a live stream about the two Reservoir Ramsey calls to take another pot shot at them. I don't know, feel free to correct me in the comments. But instead of responding to Zay's videos on Lyle Convoy, because... To be honest, some of those videos Zay was responding to Lyle's accusations about him enabling predators and Zay does have the right to respond to that. Instead, I'm going to be looking over his recent live stream titled Watching the Rosa Ray Ramsey Call. Oh brother! Also, hi! The reason why I'm going to be responding to these calls specifically is because I feel like Zayd either doesn't know about the Rosa Ray Ramsey situation or just doesn't care. I'll get into that more in later in the video, but Zayd starts off with a bit of floor context. Who's Rosary Ramsey? Uh, apparently it's some... I don't have the entire context for the whole Rosary Ramsey situation, but um, the general gist of it is that she's some girl who... Some mentally ill girl who uh, owned a Discord server, has some weird hyperfixation with some other nigga uh, named Zaid Magenta, um, in her Discord server, a predator was inside that Discord server, and Hopeless Peaches and Lyo Convoy confronted her about having that predator in her server. I know this is near the start of the video, but it does show a clear indication of how Zayd couldn't be bothered to look into the Rosa Ray Ramsey situation. Firstly, it wasn't Rosa who ran the server, it was Rebecca Starlight. And yes, Rosa was not a mod or an admin in the server, so she couldn't boot this person. She did still stay in the server, knowing that this person was preying on children, and stayed quiet because she thought her friendship with Rebecca was more important than the child predator in her server. Rebecca was given an email about it and went straight to the predator with that email. Rosa knew about this because there are chat logs with both Rebecca and Rosa talking about the predator. Now, I don't really have any proof that these chat logs exist, but if they don't exist, then why would Rebecca Starlight run away after Lyle Convoy confronted Rebecca about these chat logs? Here's what's going to happen. You're going to make time sometime tomorrow. And you're going to talk to them properly about all this because they got a lot of other stuff they need to ask you, including chat logs where you are talking to Rosa about Necopod. I don't remember these. Well, it's a good thing That's they have these chat logs then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're going to remind you. We're going to refresh your memory. Did she leave? Oh my. She fucking left. Pussy. The right thing for Rosa to do was to leave the server and never contact Rebecca again. But instead, she decided to stay and watch as more victims got hurt. Secondly, it wasn't Hopeless Peaches that confronted Rosa about it. It was Lyle Convoy and Techno. Since you don't know the context behind it, let me fill you in. Rosa was non-stop tweeting about Zayd Magenta, formerly known as Misanthropony because of his videos on Star Wars. And yes, I am fully aware of the Misanthropony situation. Even going so far to try and get him on Techno's documentary series Internet Horrors. Lyle Convoy told her enough is enough, to which Rosa threatened Lyle that if he didn't stop, he would end up on an internet horror. Techno didn't appreciate that, so he got both of them in a live stream to debate it out. This live stream would take a different turn though, since Rosa confessed that Rebecca kept a child predator in her server for four days. It wasn't long before we eventually dis it wasn't long before we eventually discovered what Nekapon was doing was wrong, and then eventually we kicked her out. Eventually. You eventually kicked her out. How long between finding out the information and removing her was it? 
Well, let's just say. Stop. Oh my God. Can you start well, a sentence without saying, let's just say, eventually. I'm going to lose it on you. I'm going to lose it on you. How long? Give me days, hours, weeks. What is it? I'm going to say like, um, uh, I lost track. It's been like a long. Was it days? Probably. It took you but... days to remove a child predator. Would you do I think it did. was like it took you days, probably. days, days. It should probably have taken you like five four days. Seconds. It was probably like four, day four days. days like four days between finding out someone in your server is a child predator and removing them. Out. Are you stupid? This would turn out to be a lie, and to find out that she kept this child predator in her server for eight months, and Rosa knew about it. If she would have left the server and cut ties with Rebecca as soon as she found out that Rebecca kept the Predator around, there would be no problem. But Rosa chose to stay with her friends over the protection of children. And then after being exposed for allowing a child Predator in a server, still went back on Twitter to bitch about Zaid Magenta. That's why this call happened. You would know that, Zay, if you did your research. Okay, I'm so glad that he says that you could have communicated and all this shit when he's like literally guilty of this himself with me. I asked you to come into a debate with me and uh, discuss your issues and my issues in a call. And you could have explained at any point in time within the last two weeks that I talked to you that, hey, I'm not going to show up. So, uh, like, can, can we be consistent with our with our moral compunction? <laughs> this is something that Zay brings up quite a lot in this video. The fact that Lyle Convoy didn't get into a call and debate him. Zay seems to use this quite a lot as a gotcha card against Lyle to frame him as a coward when Lyle said at the end of his video on why he dropped out on the debate. Now... They wanted me to come on to stream with them so they could press me on some things. But after looking into all of this and seeing what they'll excuse and whom they'll collude with, I can easily say I'm just not interested. Don't really want to hang around creeps. But let's just say that Zay is right and that Lyre Convoy is a coward who is so scared of getting into a Discord debate with you and you are so desperate to debate him. Then why don't you just get into his server and debate him there? Or even go into the Senate, an open Discord server, and debate him in there? I'm pretty sure Lyle will have no problem muting everyone in the Senate or his own server so you two can talk it out. You're trying to frame Lyle Convoy as a coward for not stepping into your territory, but you can't even step into his territory and debate him there. Right here. You were not right here. You just claimed you were in bed. So before you went nappy poo to take a little sleep sleep, because Lord knows you could use the beauty sleep. I've seen photos of you. Why didn't you the death What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> I think, I think, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, just wait a minute, just wait a minute. I think, I think that if you have not ever in your life shown your face on the internet, if you have not let anybody online let you see what you look like, you have absolutely no fucking right to say anything about anybody's appearance. Because what do you look like, Lyo Convoy? I would love to know. I would love to know, cause I got a couple choice roasts for your bitch ass, cause there ain't a damn thing that your old ass can say about my handsome mug. I look good. You on the other hand, let, let's not let's not let's not let Animal Crossing hands have a have a word or two about somebody's appearance. Let's not do that shit, nigga, because you don't show your face at all. This is why I never in my life will ever take an opinion from somebody who is too pussy to show their face on social media. Don't sit here and talk about, oh, you can use the beauty sleep. Nigga, you, nigga, you need to show your own face before you start talking about other niggas' faces. If I were to quote just the robot here, he could show his face, but what would that do? What would that accomplish if he did show his face? Also, have you ever taken in consideration that with Lyle's line of work, being a predator hunter, showing his face may be a bad idea? That could bring harm to him and his family. Lyra was very good at tracking people's information just by a photo. And there could be more people out there who don't have the morals of Lyle Convoy who are also very good at tracking people's personal information. 
If he were to show his face, it could put a lot of danger towards him and his family. No idea. Then why are you crying like telling you to tell anybody to tell what to do? Because the truth of the matter is, you will idealistically shut up with anybody who will give you the right kind of attention, which is why you're hanging out with Peepsa Witch, aka Mongrel, who has admitted to having intrusive thoughts about grooming children. It's amazing how every person you hang around that you like being around that gives you attention is some sort of degenerate dirtbag who puts kids in danger. Isn't that- isn't that so fucking crazy how, like, he says this, but despite that, like, two niggas in his own circle turned out to be real-life pedophiles? <laughs> like, can we talk about that, then? For those of you who are wondering who Zay is talking about here, he's talking about two individuals known as Vida and Coyote Lovely. Vida and Coyote Lovely were friends with Lyle Convoy until they got outed. Vida sexually preyed on four children, and Coyote tried to do a gay up on Sappho the zoo file. As soon as Lyle found this out, he confronted them and kicked them both out. Zade also brings up Coyote a lot in the stream as another gotcha card on Lyle. Despite Lyle having nothing to do with them anymore after he found out what was going on. He didn't just sit on the information and did nothing about it like what Rosa did. Also, the Coyote Lovely situation happened after this situation. You bringing it up when it has nothing to do with this just makes you look arrogant. Because you've been called out because your parents are absolute failures and didn't teach you to have a moral back. Back. How the fuck did you come to that conclusion? Isn't your beef with Rosa, not with Rosa's fucking parents? Do you know how many people... And, and let's entertain the reality, right? That Rosa is this fucking degenerate weirdo and they're just fucking horrible in every way, right? What the fuck does her parents have to do with that? Do you know how many loving parents exist that raise fucking murderers, child predators, and all that shit, and they never fucking knew that because of because their lives from their children grow more and more separate as the child gets older? Like, how the fuck? Like, what? This is one of the times that I do agree with Zay. I mean... I'm 26 and I still live with my mum, but that doesn't really affect what I've accomplished in life, so that argument isn't always the best argument. This is something that Lyle said that he will improve on, but I find it ironic that it makes the statement this is Coyote lovely, when it was Coyote who said to Lyle that this argument isn't always the best argument. Real quick, I just want to mention Lyle, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that because I, I do think the living at home comment is not necessarily always like on point. Because like you know that I'm almost 32 and right now I'm currently living at home and the reason why is because my fucking home burned down last summer. But that doesn't, that doesn't suddenly change the what I have together, what I don't have together in life. I, I think those comments are not always the most productive. And this is coming from the guy who literally is, insisted on a retard counter earlier, but <laughs> so take that for what you think it's worth. So it's one of those things that I think that comment at least is not always the most on point thing. I think they kind of have a point here. All right, I'll take it under advisement. I just didn't know this person. I just didn't know Necropon. Because I would. 20 hours of information, bro. Who in their right fucking mind is sitting with this? <laughs> Nigga, what? Who is sitting through 20 hours worth of fucking information, bro? <laughs> You're asking this very clearly mentally stunted woman to, to sit through hours upon hours of information. Like, what? He wasn't asking Rosa to sit through 20 hours of information. He was saying that Call Me Neil had 20 hours of information on Necopon. Now, it's quite possible that Rosa wasn't given every little bit of information, but at least one minute of that information would have been more than enough to convince Rosa to go up to Rebecca and say, hey, we need to deal with this right now. And even if she was, Rosa doesn't have a job and spends most of her time on Discord and Twitter. I'm pretty sure she could have made the time. Neither of these things require fucking content, nigga. What? Why does this require a one hour call of you ripping into this person? Just let them know, hey, uh, don't know if you knew, but you had a predator in your server for a while. You should think about removing them. Oh, okay. And then the person makes a decision on whether or not they're going to do that. No, the person doesn't decide whether or not they should or should not do it. They should do it. As soon as they find out that there is a child predator, you act on it immediately. You don't just wait eight months afterwards and let more kids get hurt. I want you to know I'm not yelling at you. I'm actually trying to understand the situation. So if you could please give me an answer, that would be very much appreciated. 
Vio, your predator friend is speaking kindly to the person without any moral compunction. Why aren't you saying anything about it? He's being nice to them. Why are you not telling him to be aggressive and abusive? Because Coyote doesn't know what's going on and he wants Rosa to answer his question so he can understand the situation at hand. If Coyote was to scream at Rosa without knowing the context behind it, he would have looked like an absolute psychopath. Okay, why do you have such a problem with Saeed's particular opinion like, and how, he's vo how they're voicing it? Well, it's kind of the same like fucking reason that Lyle Convoy argues with random niggas about a children's fucking show Thundercats. What? Everybody on the internet argues about random bullshit all the fucking time, bro. Okay, I'm not denying he does this, but can you please show some proof of him doing this? That is a big gate to leave open, especially with all the times he's defended Sage Magenta for being mean about movies and video games. It's going over and over, like a record. Well, if that's really bothering you that much, you can press the mute button or the block button. Those are both options you can't explore as far as Twitter goes. Okay, that's then why have neither of you done that shit with Rosa Ray Ramsey? It applies to every every goofy ass nigga in this call, Rosa included. Because the issue has nothing to do with Rosa being mean about a movie or that her opinion is different from theirs. It has everything to do with failing to act when a child predator was in the same Discord server as her, her inability to answer basic questions, and her unhealthy obsession with Zayd Magenta. Also, no one is forcing Rosa to do anything. She could have said, no, I'm not getting in a call with Lyra Convoy again, but she chose to. Let's just say... You say, let's just say you get out of the chair, you lose it on. You might have been to get struck on the floor. Do you understand that? Nigga, what? What? <laughs> Hold on, just run it the... Run the fuck back nigga what <laughs> that is such an extreme reaction to, to something so normal <laughs> let's just say again i'm gonna jump and lose it on you i would have ripped you to pieces and way you have never been deconstructed before do you understand motherfucker are you okay are you are you all right up here are you are you genuinely all right up here nigga what the fuck the reason why Lyle said it in such an extreme way is because Rosa starts every sentence with Well, let's just say... Listening to it is just annoying. I can't imagine how it must feel like in a conversation with it. But then Zay tries to go on as he tries to one-up Lyle and Peaches with this statement. Lyle Cowboy, I really hope you're watching the stream because you stalk all my content anyway. Lyle, I really hope you're watching the stream. I truly do. I hope you and your weird-ass DDLG daughter are watching the stream. You're a bitch-ass nigga, bro. You are a whole-ass bitch. Because you would never in your life, you never in your life, never in your life publicly say this to this woman. Because you would look abusive as fuck. You would never do none of this shit publicly. But then completely contradicts himself when he reads out a comment by Mint Heart, Lyle's ex-adopted daughter. Here, here's something that uh, that came out recently from Mint Heart. Apparently, Lyle, Lyle told Mint Heart that, um, that Texas is a mutual combat state. So if you argue, and apparently Mint Heart was like, and this is this is a quick uh, recap of it. Apparently Mint Heart was arguing with uh, Lyle's wife and Lyle was like, Texas is a mutual combat state. So if you want to handle this outside, we can. And I'm like, bro, you're not about to get on me about my charges when you literally threaten to fight a, a woman outside, bro. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Now, if this story is true, then yes, it does make Lyle look insane. But for you to say that Lyle was a pussy because he would never do this in real life, and then to read out something from someone in Lyle's personal life at the point to say that he does do this, just makes you look stupid. Or you do. And you're just trying your best. Then what am I supposed to do? Get a job, you loser! That's what you're supposed to do. I'm so glad you said that, fuck nigga. Tell your dumbass daughter to get a job too. The fuck? Oh my god, you're a weird ass nigga. Tell your fucking daughter to do that. Instead of sitting here on fucking community posts talking like, oh, Hopeless Peaches needs donations for her taxes. Like, what the fuck? How do you see that this girl, it, 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 up to your standards, Lyle Convoy, up to your standards, right? I, re I really hope that you're watching the stream. I genuinely do. To your standards, how do you see that this girl is a fucking bum? And then you don't see how your own daughter is a fucking bum. Like, what? <laughs>
Okay, first off, how do you know that Hopeless Peaches hasn't got a job? Because she spends most of her free time online? Yeah, no shit! Fucking everyone does! Secondly, there is nothing wrong with asking for people to donate to someone in desperate times. As someone who also lives in the UK, I can say that being taxed 20% if you work to a £1,200 a month salary fucking sucks! As long as the money is going towards her covering expenses as it was promised, then there is nothing wrong with Peaches asking for help. You know what, I'm not going to cover any more of the Rosary Ramsey call on Lyle's channel. The rest of the call is just Zayn making dumb little pot shots and laughing his ass off because he doesn't know what to say. So I'm just going to skip to his response to the Senate call. Um, I just want to say that this is very basic. Bro, oh my fucking god, I hate y'all. I hate y'all so much. Oh my fucking god, just let her gather her thoughts. They gave her plenty of chances to give her thoughts. More than enough. It's a very simple yes or no question that anyone with two brain cells can answer, and all Rosa does is just avoid the question. Yes? Okay. Okay. I did not say just. I, at no point I said you live with your mother. At no point I said you live with just your mother. I'm trying to build an example here that you will hopefully be able to grasp. You live with your mother. If your mother decides to lose it and put a bullet in everybody in that household, where she worked and how she got her job will have no relevance to why she did what she did. Yes, the fuck it would. Every single aspect of a person's life has something to do with a murder, moron. Are you fucking serious? The police are going to get into all of that. What was their motive? Was there anybody at work, at their job that, ma that made them want to do this? They're going to want the entire story, you fucking idiot. And that's an extreme ass example anyway. Why are you like, what the fuck was this? I don't think that's the point of what you think it means. What Lyle was trying to get out that if someone shot everyone in the house, the person's workplace would not be held responsible for that person's actions. Now yes, you're right that there will be an investigation on the building just to make sure that no one else was involved, or if there's any evidence, but the person who committed the crime will be held responsible, not the workplace. Uh -huh. What's worse, a person being beat to you on the internet or somebody who preyed on children? Just both. I ask which one is worse. It's which one is which one is it's worse? It's a simple question. I don't need an answer. Maybe she doesn't think that. Maybe thinks she thinks that both of them are are at the same moral. That that morally they're both on the same level of of it being wrong. Maybe she does, but that's not the right way of thinking. Someone being mean to someone else on the internet is nothing compared to someone sexually preying on children. From what I'm hearing, Lyle and Blue are trying to educate her about what's wrong. Hey, yeah, which one I just... Don't tell me you don't know. You do know. You do know. Yes, you do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tell me, Lena. Well, not Lena Rosa. What's worse? Somebody putting hands on you inappropriately or someone calling you dumb? Which one of these things is worse? Tell me. Just a predator. Yeah, how, okay, why, why did it take you so long to even answer that? How old are you? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, pieces. I hate... Oh my god, bro. Shut the hell up. You have absolutely zero backbone. Your your Twitter is privated right now because now you're getting flack for being a fucking loser. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh my god. I, I cannot stand this bitch. She is so fucking... She thinks she's so powerful here. This is the only place that she feels power and control in her life. Hopeless Peaches is such a fucking loser. How old are you that you can't even pay your own fucking taxes? Shut the fuck up! It took it like like it didn't take you forever to get here. Oh my god, you're a fucking loser. Dude, calm the fuck down. She's only asking a question. Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's the worst thing? I'm he's a ever bitch, Lord. I don't care. I ask you, what's the worst thing he's ever done? Those tweets. Those tweets. Those tweets. Last what, darn what tweet. The, calm down, Christian. I have one other tweet set. What? Calling an autistic person Christian is fucking crazy. That's crazy. This nigga is so gross. You fucking hypocrite! Earlier in the stream, you made a tasteless joke about Lyle cheating on his wife with hopeless peaches. I had to get out of bed where I was laying next to my lovely beautiful wife, about to get some nice sleep because you decided to take his lovely beautiful wife that he's probably cheating on with hopeless peaches. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> I'm not buying it. Oh, and by the way, as someone who is on the autistic spectrum, can I ask you if you don't have autism yourself to not speak for people who are on the spectrum?
Like seriously, I don't usually have an issue with people defending autism, but hearing it coming out of your mouth just feels bitter. I'm just saying that this isn't helping me get through this. Oh, no, no, guess what, guess what? Rosa, I'll help you. I will help you right now. I will help you. I will give you that brace. Okay. You're, not to, you're not here to be helped, dickhead. There you go, there's your help. Then if she's not here to be helped, then let her the fuck go. Then what's the point of this entire call? To bully her? Yeah, pretty much. When you go into the Senate, there is a warning at the start that says, read me first. And it says that it is a barbarian community that you may be bullied in. Now, yes, there are some things in this call that are being said to Rosa that are very tasteless. There is a part in this call where someone makes fun of Rosa for being fat. There were also people calling her a retard, screaming into her face, etc. There's being angry and making fun of her and then there's taking it to an extreme. However, just because most of the people in this call acted of abusive towards her, that doesn't justify what Rosa did. Two wrongs don't make a right. Hey, you guys do forever. <laughs> How? Because all I'm getting is nothing more but the increase of PTSD. <laughs> oh my god, don't, please don't tell me that all of y'all are laughing at the fact that this woman just confided in you that she has PTSD. And you guys are triggering that. You're triggering her PTSD and y'all niggas laugh? I don't want to hear hopeless pieces say shit about trauma ever again. Now yes, Rosa does have mental issues due to epileptic seizures which can cause PTSD. That's an explanation, but it's not an excuse. Having mental issues doesn't change what Rosa allowed to happen. Especially when in Techno's call with her, after we found out that Rosa forgave Crimson Mayhem for failing to bring a pedophile to justice, that she tried to have a fake panic attack. So who is asking this? So. According to what I've been told, this person, this, this, Rosa, had been in a, Rosa, stop before I meet you, okay, because I'm not very happy right now, I'm really not happy. Um, Rosa had been in a, had been, Rosa, I will mute you, I will mute you if I have to, you need to stop, okay? You don't just turn a panic attack on and off just because you get told off. It just shows that Rosa will fake having issues to make herself seem like the victim, because they think that she's trying to emotionally manipulate them. Yours. I just never knew who Megapon was. I just no, 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 was. no. Well, hold on. We are not talking about Megapon right now. We're talking about Andrew Clark. You were just defending him. But now suddenly because this thing came out that, oh yeah, by the way, he defended cuties, you want to pivot over to Megapon? No. We're not doing that right now. I'm... No. What did this be? Isn't this just long ago? Just once upon a time. Isn't this just once upon a time just long ago? <laughs> no. No. Okay. I'm going to stop you right fucking there, okay? Because now I'm sorry. You got pissed. All right. Listen. No. Let me talk. Okay? Okay. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. What matters is that these children. Yes, the fuck it does, bro. Was she educated on what this nigga said when when she said something long ago? It does matter. Did she know? How about you listen and let Blue finish what she's about to say so you can know the full context behind it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't this be? Isn't this just long ago? Just once upon a time. Isn't this just <laughs> once upon a time? Just long ago. <laughs> no, no, okay, I'm yeah, gonna think... stop you right fucking there, okay, because now I'm starting think... to get pissed, all right, listen, a... no, let me talk, okay, okay, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, what matters is that these children were scarred for life, okay, I get it, but no, even... clearly you don't, because you're saying that it was long ago and forever and once upon a time, that's not how it works. Rosa was trying to say that the Negapon situation was a long time ago and that it doesn't matter anymore. Children were scarred over this. They have to live with this for the rest of their lives. So no, it doesn't matter how long ago it was. How many years was that? Just how many it doesn't years? matter how many years it's been. I was groomed 11 years ago and I still fucking remember it. Now we want to talk to the chat here real quick. Yeah. Let's put it in blue. Period. Period. Fucking trauma dump much? What the fuck? <laughs> Why do y'all do that? <laughs> Why, who, who fucking asked about that? Why did you bring yourself into it? What the fuck? <laughs> Bro, who asked about your grooming story? What the hell? <laughs> it's giving a... Because <laughs> singing to my grandma! Like, bro, just uh, slow your roll. <laughs> Are you laughing at someone saying that they were groomed? What 
the fuck? It, you know what? No, I'm not even going to respond to that. That's just sick. I'm giving you so many chances to explain. But yet- no, you have not. Every time she has, you cut her off. What the fuck? <laughs> You have not given her a chance at all! Yeah, here's something else I want to bring up about why this livestream isn't very good. Because Zay has sped up the video, it makes it sound like that everyone's cutting over Rosa and everyone's being malicious towards her. Because of this, it's not just hard to hear what's going on, but it also makes people in this call look even worse. But if you actually listen to the call at normal speed, you would notice that more often than not that people are not giving the energy that is being presented in this livestream. Like for an example, this clip I played earlier. The floor is yours. I just never knew who Nekopon was. I just no, 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 was. no. Well, hold on. We are not talking about Nekopon right now. We're talking about Andrew Clark. You were just defending him. But now suddenly because this thing came out that, oh yeah, by the way, he defended Cuties, you want but, to pivot over to Nekopon? No. We're not doing that right now. Now, from the speed of the video, it makes Blue sound malicious and unhinged. But if you play it at normal speed... The floor is yours. I just never knew who Nekopon was. I just no, 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 was no. Hold on. We are not talking about Nekopon right now. We're talking about Andrew Clark. You were just defending him. But now suddenly because this thing came out that, oh yeah, by the way, he defended Cuties. You want but, to pivot over to Nekopon? No. We're not doing that right now. You see where I'm coming from? It doesn't sound as bad when you play at normal speed. Now, I do want to say that I don't believe that Zayd intentionally tries to make them look worse, and I know he doesn't want to watch the video at normal speed. All I'm saying is you're creating a false persona when you increase the speed, and it's kind of manipulating your audience if they don't know the context behind it. But how it, then how, why does he feel for us? For us, these people? Because some of those people need to be talked to. He has every right to possibly be rude to those- I don't take anybody seriously who fucking doxes niggas on the internet. If you would have pulled, if you wanted to pull up to my house, you would have, one hundred percent, you would have done it. A lot of these people are all barking, no bite, and <laughs> they're not risking getting fucking killed. Hold on a minute. All artistic passions was doing is defending her friend. She's not talking about doxing or getting into a fight with anyone. She's just standing by her friend because Rosa has been constantly tweeting and lying about him. There's nothing wrong with that. And also, I need to give a massive thank you to Artistic Passions because of you, Zay decided to end his live stream. Uh, while, while we're on the topic of PTSD and mental disorders, uh, you state that seizures can, your, your, your seizures can uh, cause you to have memory problems, yes? That's what you said earlier? Uh-huh. Okay. I have friends who have specific different seizures. One has a- Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! You're about to piss me the fuck off! You're about to piss me the fuck off! Oh my god! I know what this bitch is about to say, I'm gonna get so fucking mad! Oh my god, you can't be fucking serious! This is ableist as fuck! Oh my god! Please, oh, oh, she is not about to do this. She is not about to do what I think she's about to do. She is not about to do it, bro. She's not about to fucking do it, bro. She's not about to fucking do it. Holy shit. Oh my God. There's no fucking way. There is no fucking way. This shit is ableist as fuck. There's no fucking way. She's about to say, well, my friends have also different uh, seizures and, and that hasn't happened with them. I, oh my God, please don't fucking do it. Please don't fucking do it. If she doesn't, I'm ending the stream. If she doesn't, I'm ending the fucking stream. Seizure that causes to have seizures because of, well, obviously stress, but they've took taken medication. They don't have memory problems. No, granted, you probably haven't had medication. And you're probably oh having my God, she fucking did it. I'm done. I'm fucking done, bro. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, yo. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't anymore, bro. I can't fucking do it. I can't fucking do it. Thank you, Artistic Passions, for making this more bearable because, God, you know what? I'm done with this. The bits of the stream I didn't show are Zayd either repeating himself, acting incredibly unhinged, making dumb insults towards Lyle Convoy and Hopeless Peaches, him getting up to get something to eat or drink, going to the toilet while his audience can hear him pee, sucking off the ponder because she called out the people in the call for bullying Rosa, or just making points that I don't have the context for so I'm not going to reply to them. So let's just end this. Zay, I think it's very clear that you don't know about the context of this call, nor do you care. I think it's very clear that you only made this live stream just to take another stupid pot shot at Lyle Convoy and Hopeless Peaches. 
You even left out the part where the victim was talking to Rose, uh, expressing her feelings and even breaking down into tears. And you're very welcome to defend yourself and we could talk about this, but to be completely honest, from what I've seen, arguing with you is just going to be like arguing with a camel. I can tell you that you're right and I'm wrong, but you're still going to spit in my face. Now, like I said before, I don't think you're a complete waste of space. I have seen a couple of your videos and the ones that are scripted when it's just you talking calmly are nice to listen to. I may not agree with a lot of what you say, but in those videos where they're scripted, you at least come across as more reasonable than you do in these live streams. I'm not saying you should give up on live streams, but if you are going to continue doing them, you need to control your emotions and think about what you're about to say. To the rest of you watching, don't harass or send death threats to anyone who I've spoken about in this video. You're very welcome to respond in any way you like, but constantly going after someone is never acceptable. But before I finish, I just want to make a quick statement. I have been seeing people praising Zay as a hero for sticking up against the Senate and standing by Rosa. So let me make something very clear. Rosa is no better than the people in this call. While most of the Senate members' behaviour is unacceptable, Rosa put children in danger for allowing a child predator run free in her server for eight months. Because she thought it was more important to focus on someone who lied to her. So don't come to me and try and accuse me of defending abusers or talk to me about her mental health like I don't care. Because I care very much about people's mental health. But I also care about the children that were put in danger who were scarred for life by her own actions. But if you have made it to the end of the video, I thank you for watching and make sure you keep yourself safe.